The following podcast may include adult language, including sexually explicit material. Listener discretion is advised. You're listening to That Sexy Podcast, the podcast where your hosts, Stephen, and myself, Mercedes, read vintage erotica and try not to die laughing. Yay. Yay. (laughs) What uh, episode are we even on? Is it 24? It is episode 24. Oh my God. Every week, it's like... I'm surprised that we've made it this far. Like, I'm I'm proud of us, Stephen. We've done such a great job. Yeah, it's going. It's so I keep feeling like we're going to run out of smut, but I know that's not real. No, not with the amount of books that we bought at the beginning of this. And what's um, funny is we have like ten books, and there's literally thousands. <laughs> I know, right? Um, and uh, we sure have picked some doozies today, right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too. Um, uh, before we get into it, we should definitely um, say thank you to all the recent subscribers uh, on YouTube. There's been a big jump in that. Um, yeah. A lot of new folks um, following us on Spotify. It looked like there's a pretty big jump in stuff on Apple and uh, a few on the other platforms, which we don't really get into too often, but... Um, yeah, some new listeners in different countries too. So yeah, uh, thank you for that. We're Super excited exciting. to have you. Super exciting. Thanks to everyone that has supported this podcast. It makes me so happy to know that there's uh, degenerates in the world, just like me yep. and you. No shortage. No shortage <laughs> of degenerates. Uh, I think we had a... <laughs> There was a comment about someone didn't make it very far into the thing before they came, so they had to stop listening. That's really sad. Yeah, kind of gross. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. I mean, uh, like, eventually you get desensitized to this, and you're just like, oh, uh, somebody's calling it a pecker again. Yeah. I think desensitized. When I worked for Hustler, there were periods of time where I would literally be, like, unloading trucks And there would just be like literally like someone like taking something in the ass in my periphery and just people holding normal conversations about what's for lunch. And did you call so-and-so or did you get a hold of this distributor and stuff? And it was all just completely like literally people like me unloading dildos from a package and then there's just porn in the background and people are talking about what's for lunch. Yeah, uh, that sounds like kind of like what it's like to be in a band, too. It's very much that, without question. <laughs> you hear something gross. At least, well, you get both ends of it, I guess, because you, you end up being like in the periphery of somebody like doing coke, too. So yeah, that, that happens in the, in, the, in the porn world, too. Sure does. They're well, similar. We, yeah, I feel like we had um, we had a similar, uh, you know, teenage, early 20s, uh, you know, upbringing, I guess. Yeah, some wild. Education. Well, we can call it that. I th- if anything, <laughs> I learned what not to do. Yeah, well, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Me too. Uh, exactly what not to do. Yeah. Watch other people wreck their lives. Yeah, we made it this far. Yeah, yeah, we did. Doing pretty so, cool. Yeah, we're we're cool. We're doing Don't stuff. Don't have a, a deviated asshole or septum. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right. Okay, so we might as well get into this. Do you want to all count and then we can rock, paper, scissors? Explain to me how that works again. Rock, paper, scissors. For those of you listening, she's either rolling dice or she's jerking someone off. At least someone with a penis that's at a downward angle. Uh, there you go. Really working it out. Like a milking table. Yeah. There um, you go. Fun. 
Okay, yeah, we'll try it. You ready? Yep. One, two, three. It's, it's always going to be paper because you're always rock. It's not fair. Yeah, you go first. <laughs> so uh, today we are, again, reading from the uh, really great book here uh, that um, we've been reading from for the last couple weeks. Why does that Three. look like someone just accidentally walked in on her? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love the like caption up here. It says horny male from hometown America. It looks like she lost her contacts or something and she's trying to find them and someone just happened to walk in. <laughs> I love the eighties and tan lines, like tan lines, like look at her butt. Like it's just super pale. Yeah. Um, you wouldn't see that now. I, th I feel like people used to tan back then uh, with clothes on. People don't do that anymore. Yeah, they would do that. And there was like a real hype for tanning booths and tanning beds, uh, which seems to have gone away. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm kind of glad. I don't know. I'm always pale, so it's fine. Yeah, I'm not allowed in tanning beds at all. Yeah, like not within 500 feet? Yeah, not within 500 feet or I'll die. Uh, that's cool i got no interest I, I i burn i don't tan yeah i definitely burn uh so <laughs> how to make your sex fantasies come true mm. uh so i think it was uh it wasn't this one but this was um i know last week we read the bathroom beat off story and this yep. is the, the the story directly after it and uh, I saw this last week, and I I'm really glad that I'm reading this this week. Um, so this story is called Ass and You S Shall Receive. Ass <laughs> and You Shall Receive. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. So as an accountant for a leading textile company, I've sold my soul to the company store, making a fortune for the firm, but little for myself. Mm. That's sad. Yep. And. <laughs> <laughs> Already. Sorry. And being a horny middle-aged man, there seems so little excitement left in life for me. That's very sad. I know, poor guy. Um, there's lots of excitement. You just have to go out and find it. Whatever your name is. Start rubbing your dick on the textiles. Yeah, he's probably dead now. Anyway, I just love how we just assume everybody that we're reading about is dead. If they're not, they're quite old. Because uh, he said he's, what, middle-aged? I'm not sure what middle-aged was in the late 70s, early 80s. But... 40. <laughs> so he's 20? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So luckily, 21-year-old Audrey started working for us a few months ago. That's, I can only think a little shop of horrors, but all right. <laughs> for my first masturbatory moment, 12, or sorry, 25 years ago, I've been a devotee of derrieres. Oh, well, I get it. I, I, all right. Yeah. Butts are cool. Yeah. Nothing turn, turns me on like a perfectly curved ass. Still with him? Firm yet soft to the touch. Okay. Sadly, for my wife thinks anal love is disgusting. Okay. I don't I mean I understand the correlation between a butthole and a butt, but... The, looking at someone's ass and being, wow, that's a nice ass. I don't immediately go to a, like, wonder what her butthole's like. Yeah. That doesn't, I mean, I'm sure there are absolutely people that do that. It just doesn't occur to me to immediately be like, somewhere in the in that woman's very nice looking ass, there's a butthole. It, just, it, just... it probably stinks. Yeah, they all kind of do. <laughs> For years, I tried convincing her it wouldn't hurt. All I got was abuse from her, accusations about being a pervert and a failure at my profession. What does her his profession have to do with butt fucking? 
I mean, I feel like that's not very nice. I mean, it's not cool that he continually pesters his wife to put his dick in her butt, but it's also not very nice of her to be like, you're a failure in life because you want to put your dick in my butt. Yeah, I feel like I don't see the correlation there. Sounds like it's not a great marriage. No. She has a devious way of belittling my occupation even during intimate moments. It sounds like he might like it a little bit, though. <laughs> You're no good at selling textiles. Come. <laughs> so I was left solely to my fantasy life uh, until last Monday evening. Oh, here we go. We had a major audit to work on. Mm. So I asked young Audrey to work late with me. <laughs> okay. Oh, up to that time, I'd mentally undressed her a thousand times. Well. There were mornings when she walked to the coffee urn. Urn? Yeah. And turned my cock to granite. Very cool wordplay. That was great. She's like a Medusa <laughs> for penises. <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> she always wears tight-fitting slacks. More than once, I saw the outline of her panties, clear and defined. Now, I just want to say that I love how back then, like, it was like, oh, I can see her panties. It gives me an erection. Now it's like, choke me. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like, hey, can, how much of your butthole can I see through your pants? Yeah. Maybe you should just not wear pants to work. That seems to be a thing people do. Yeah. And more than once, I had to trot to the men's room to jack off. Thinking of Audrey. Trot. Yeah. I so, love it. Jerking off at work. Cool. Yeah. I feel like you, that you might get in trouble for that. I've done it. Yeah. Yeah. When I was younger, for sure. I worked at a hotel when I was like 18, 17 or 18. And there would be just be like six, just sometimes six to eight hours of doing nothing on certain days. Uh -huh. And like pretty much all you're trying to do at that point as a dude is like get jizz to come out of your penis. And <laughs> enough free time uh, with nothing to do and plenty of places to hide in a gigantic hotel. You eventually you just go somewhere and jerk off. Uh, never done that. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I, I mean, I have done it uh, quite a few times. Sometimes you just, you know, you get horned out. <laughs> and then you jerk off and then, you know, you go do stuff. You go back to normal stuff like nothing happened. Yeah. Eat a bowl of cereal. That's at home. I don't, you know. Technically, I've been jerking off at work for a few years, given that I've worked from home prior to COVID, so. I see. I see where this is going. Yeah. Usually I wasn't jerking off, though. I was just, you know, making sex to you. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> making the sex. <laughs> I dream of her youthful face, black hair, and full round tits. Full round tits. Yeah. But most of all, it's her exquisite ass that triggers my marathon masturbatory act. <laughs> Interestingly <laughs> enough, it was Audrey who made the overture that evening. The overture. Mm -hmm. Very cool. She was exhausted and at one point stretched, extending her arms to the ceiling. As she did, one of her buttons opened and I caught a peek at her beige bra. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Noting my lustful gaze, she smiled. Want to take a break now, she asked. Oh, boy. I checked my watch. It was late already, and my loathsome spouse would be waiting. Oh, sorry. Would be waiting dinner. Uh, We're already waiting, waiting with dinner, making dinner. And, Who knows? Yeah. Anyway, cool. What else? Um, but <laughs> when Audrey began removing her blouse, I smiled and mentally told my wife to drop dead. That seems fair. <laughs> Here was the moment I had waited for. It was going to slip by. No, sir. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? I don't know. I certainly underestimated how uninhibited young people are nowadays. Audrey was a freewheeling vixen walking nymph-like to my desk. Meow. Yeah, right? She was completely nude and told me to hurry and undress. I want to see your delicious dick. That's cool. That sounds like something I would say. I was going to say that's, yeah, I wasn't going to say it because, you know, but yeah, that is something you do say, actually. I appreciate the, the kind words about my penis. It's tasty. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Anyhow. Her, her fingers were buried inside her. When I was naked, she kissed all of me. I thought I'd come the second her lips touched my cock. She urged me to finger her, which I did. She climaxed easily that way and asked, how would you like how would you like your pleasure? Oh. How would you like your pleasure? Two for one. <laughs> With my hands on her hips, I slowly spun her around and brushed her beautiful asshole with my forefinger. She smiled and went to the floor, resting her head on my attache case of all things. Oh, very businesslike. Yeah. When I clutched her ass, I began by burying my face between her ivory cheeks. Oh, well, she's pale. Ivory cheeks, licking and sniffing the earthly richness of her butt. Oh, fuck off. Earthly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she smells like shit, but I'm doing it. Yeah, she's she probably do 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 it too. Good for her. Yeah, well, earthly. earthly. Earthly is a weird description. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> she'd obviously been buggered before. <laughs> she'd obviously been buggered before because her opening widened as soon as I touched it with my cock head. So she's like winking her butthole at him. Yeah. <laughs> Hungry butthole. I plunged in completely and began gentle but steady strokes. I have no lube or anything. They should at least say they use lube. Yeah. I feel like that's nice. Mm. She met my sweaty thrust by pounding her buttocks hard against my groin. When I climaxed, I deposited more than cum. I filled her with a middle-aged man's lifelong fantasy as well. You're so good at textiles, Sam. <laughs> I came, but I also filled her with my fantasy. Uh, and that's from JB in Cleveland, Ohio. Of course it is. Makes sense. Good. Yeah, that's very cool. Thanks, JB. I left my dreams in your butthole. That's, yeah. Sounds like a great song, actually. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be the name of my first album. Yeah. Yeah, with my new band. Okay. <laughs> it's a good title. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. The new band is called Ass and You Shall Receive. It has to all be one word. Yeah. It, yeah. So it looks like something cool, but yeah. then once it's figured out, it's not that cool. Are you um, gonna Are you going to play the kazoo? Mostly, like, the slide whistle seems more appropriate. Yeah? Yeah, and the jug, because it's a butthole. The jug. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Something cool. Something really cool and earthy. 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 Yeah. It'd be a very, very appellation, I feel. Um, <laughs> well, the, there's no cousin fucking. She doesn't have to be your cousin. She can be your sister. Well, you're talking about the appellations. I'm just saying that they use a lot of like jugs and things for instruments. Washboards. Saws. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. Saws pretty cool, though. Um, anyhow, so my story, uh, the story that you've chosen, actually, we talked about this story last episode because it was right after our episode about, or the story about the girl who was queefing in shoe salesman faces. I loved that. It's one of my favorite stories we've ever read. Yeah, yeah. It really stuck with me. Um, 
Anyhow, uh, so this story is called The Toilet Flasher. <laughs> so it's going to be fun. Can't wait. Uh, yep, I'm just going to get into it. I'm a 37-year-old housewife here in Syracuse. My husband and I are into kinky sex. But it's hard to find varied, willing partners to swing with us, especially since we like water sports, bathroom sex, and the occasional flashing. Oh, like this just sounds like a whole lot of different stuff. They're very exciting flashing, people. Like, I think if you're pissing on each other, you're past the point of flashing, but all right. Unless that means something else that I'm not aware of. Um, sometimes we've found couples who go gang flashing with us. So they just go out in public with a group of people and show their junk. Uh, <laughs> that's a cool way to get arrested. Yeah. I was just about to say that actually. <laughs> we strip naked at the lover's lane and then we romp around naked, scaring people, scaring people. I just, <laughs> uh, I'm sure they're pretty scary looking. Who these trolls with their dicks out? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> then we start bawling each other like a bunch of nymphs and satyrs. What the fuck? I don't know. It took a weird Dungeons and Dragons turn. <laughs> oh boy! My husband Rodney, especially, <laughs> <laughs> of course, Rodney likes water sports. Uh. Rodney especially likes water sports. And I'm into satisfying his cravings for fresh new pussies. So, man, there's a lot of weird... It nonsense. really doesn't have to do with water sports, though, unless like he's just looking for somebody new to piss on him. Mm -hmm. A lot of weird non-sequiturs in these stories. Mm -hmm. We've... <laughs> this is weird. We've taken, to <laughs> we've taken to hitting up the new shopping malls and doing some flashing... In the ladies' rooms. Again, a good way to get arrested. Yeah, right? <laughs> Especially if he was in the ladies' room flashing. Mm-hmm. It would like turn I Rodney on to read about himself and then tell me about one of our bathroom exhibitions. So maybe they did get arrested, and he's stoked about it. Yeah, maybe. Like, he's reading about, his, you know, his pending criminal charges. <laughs> <laughs> remember this exposure. one honey when we were at the jc penny and i showed that girl my dick yeah super hot oh boy <laughs> rodney, and I, rodney and i would hit the mall around 6 p.m and then head to the biggest apartment store where a few different ladies rooms were i found one that was momentarily empty and i made my way rodney this is worded poorly. Rodney strip absolutely and naked. I imagine what they mean to say is that Rodney would strip absolutely naked. Yeah. Naked well, means naked. You don't have to explain the absolute part. That's a bit of a redundancy. Uh, anyhow, well, look who we're dealing with here. His name is Rodney. <laughs> I know three Rodneys. And uh, all uh, kind of crazy weirdos. I don't know any Rodney, so that maybe tells me a little bit about where you grew up. Yep. <laughs> you know where I grew up. I do. Uh, Middletown, Ohio. Only the finest. <laughs> Is that the slogan? Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> Fucking meth capital of the world. Um, then I had him crawl along, sniffing each toilet until... His sense of smell found his favorite one. I don't know. I feel like at some point you just go nose blind. Because old piss stinks. Sure does. Then I would have him crouch like a dog with his arms up, begging with his little paws and his tongue out, his cock and balls dangling, exposed for all to see. <laughs> what the fuck? What is going on? I don't know. <laughs> As the women would come in, I would determine if they were ripe for what I had in mind. So just direct them to the stall that your husband is naked like a dog doing this with his dick out. Again, great way to get arrested. Yeah. 
I would tell them, there's a man in that stall. But he's naked. It says that she whispered, so I figured I would whisper. Mm, it's good. He's a real toilet slave who wants to lick your pussy. <laughs> he's a toilet slave? Toilet slave is a great thing that I would like to hang on and use later in life. <laughs> oh, boy. He'll also drink your piss. You know that? It says you know that. Lots of women blanched in shock and said they're going to call the manager or the police. Accurate. Solid choice. Yeah, right? (laughs) I said, don't worry. I'll do it. I'll let him piss on me. Then they were all very intrigued. Okay, so if I walked into the women's bathroom and there was a woman that was like, there's a man in there. He's dressed or he's naked and... Mm -hmm. And and he wants uh, you to piss. He wants to drink your piss. I would be like, let me see this motherfucker first of all. And then if she was, if the woman was like, okay, uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll pee on him. I'd be like, I I want to fucking see this. Like, yeah, one hundred percent. That would be that would be on my bucket list of things to fucking experience. So hell yes. Uh, I'll watch it. I'm not joining in. Oh no 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 no. Uh, definitely 100% would watch that shit, though. Yeah, I would. Hey, what are you doing there? I had my phone up for anyone who's listening. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, would take a video for my mother. Absolutely. I'd make a lot of gifts of a guy taking piss to the face. <laughs> and then I would send them to a lot of folks. Um, primarily your mother. This is a, She's a good yeah. person to share these things with. Yeah. <sighs> but a few were very intrigued eyes glittering, and they'd follow me, and then I'd point to naked Rodney. He's harmless. He just wants a pussy to lick. I'd say it in a very nasty, disapproving tone. Fuck. All right. (laughs) One girl started giggling and laughing at Rodney. I'm sure he digs the humiliation. He began to masturbate. Yeah, see, there you go. You know Knew where it. it's headed. <laughs> Please watch me jerk off, he said. Let your toilet slave entertain you. Wow. Are, are we starting a band called Toilet Slave? <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Another one, a chub... <laughs> Son of a bitch. Another one, who was a chubby, heavy-set girl, nasty-looking woman, in her 40s, started to shout at him. Mm -hmm. She called him every foul name in the world, threatening to beat him up and call the police. All during it, Rodney continued masturbating, saying, You're right, I'm a chubby, piece-of-shit, human turd. (laughs) I'm only fit to drink your piss, (laughs) ma'am. This is a great story. He almost popped. But the woman got exhausted and stormed out. So he almost came. She's almost there. And then she left. Aw, tease. What a dick. Unfortunately, we did it. (laughs) Unfortunately, we did not get any women who wanted to get their pussies licked. Yep, imagine that. Yeah. Uh, last uh, last thing I would be interested in is some strange naked man in the uh, women's bathroom. Uh, definitely would not be like, oh, yeah, you know what? Why don't you just... No. Mm. No? No. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Well, you're not going to... You're not a strange man. I also, you know, don't tend to get... I don't hang out in public restrooms hoping someone comes in so that they can see me jerking off. (laughs) When I jerked off in a public restroom when I was employed at a hotel, I tried to avoid human contact. (laughs) If the nearest thing to noise happened, I would stop jerking off. It really makes me sound like a terrible person. It's okay. You're fine. I mean, it's almost 20 years ago. It's fine. Anyhow... Uh, let's see here. I kind of lost track of where I was. All right. 
This is weird. I guess with all the diseases around these days, you can't blame a gal for veering away from a naked toilet slave who wants to lick your pussy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty astute. We'll get you off eventually, Rodney. I cooed. I'm not really sure how to say it in a cooing way, but she cooed it. He suggested he just stay on exhibit without my warning. Oh, so he doesn't want her to warn the women. He just wants to be found jerking off. Oh, okay, okay. I feel like they're a great couple. Like, they've really found each other. Because normally, like, if that's how you met me, I don't think we'd be speaking right now. Um, yeah. I, or I'd be like, this guy's really fucking weird. Or yeah, yeah. How did you meet your husband? Oh, he was just randomly jerking off in a women's restroom, and, you know, I just had to have him. Yeah, I... I, I no. No. Like, he, he found the right lady who wants to go with him to get, you know, arrested, basically. Get arrested? Yeah. So, <laughs> I ducked into a stall as he continued to jerk off. Every time the bathroom door opened, he would go right back to beating his, beating his dick. Very cool. Women would go by the stall, see him, then they would shriek. But he would say, don't mind me, I won't hurt you. I'm a toilet bowl. I'm a toilet bowl liquor. A janitor hired me at this store. Okay. Oh, boy. After, <laughs> after several women saw... I'm sorry. After several, several women saw him and gasped and shocked, Rodney was eventually satisfied and spurted out his cum all over the tile floor. Cool. I gave Rodney his clothes back and we left. It really turns him on to be a toilet slave on exhibition. But, well, next time I'll write about our other fun parties. I want to know about their other fun parties. Yeah. JS, Syracuse, New Jersey. I want to know all about this. I. Wow, that was something. I, yeah, we had some really good stories today. Yours especially. Wow. I, uh, yeah. People are into some weird stuff. Like, people like weird stuff. Yeah. It takes a, that seems like a lot of, uh, like, I, I guess I understand, like, I don't, I don't understand. Understand's a poor choice of word. I, Everybody comes for some different reason. I guess I can understand the thrill of maybe getting caught doing something weird as a way to come. That would not be a thing for me. Like, the getting caught part does not excite me at all. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I guess I understand it. I guess it's the same. Maybe in some way it's the same thing as, like, bungee jumping or something. But in this instance, the bungee is it's the bathroom. Yeah, and the jumping is, you know, in a lady's restroom. Oh, uh, well, you know. At least there's ladies there to help him out. Yeah, yeah, because I feel like if it was just him, he would be in prison. Yeah, I mean, it sounded like during a portion of that story that they were kind of both getting off together reading that he had gotten in trouble. <laughs> Have you ever seen a flasher before in real life? No, but I've seen a guy jerking off in real life when we were walking to get uh, ramen one night. <laughs> we, we did see that. Yeah. I saw a or my sister rather saw a flasher when we were in Amsterdam and like ran back to our hotel to tell me about it. It was funny. He was wearing a trench coat and he had a big boner and he just opened his trench coat up to my sister and and she got really grossed out. Yeah, that seems like the proper response. Yeah. yeah You're cool. like, wow, that's a great boner. I mean, I've seen a lot of naked people in, like, you know, out in the wilderness, but they're usually on, like, meth. Um, and, like, they're meth naked. Meth naked. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean, though, I know exactly right? what you mean. <laughs> they get very hot, and then they take apart electronics. Yeah. Well, they take their clothes off first. Yeah, well, they got to take those apart first. 
Yeah, yeah. Like I like I feel like a good once a year at least I see like a like a weird naked person on the street. Like I've seen quite a few dead people, uh, which I guess is not as I mean, I guess it's exciting in a different way. It depends on what makes you come, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> but uh, not a lot of naked folks necessarily. I definitely have seen plenty of random naked folks over the years uh, in places they shouldn't have been naked. But. I don't know. I don't know. Working in the bar, I've had a few instances with random naked folks. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. It's hot <laughs> naked guy talk. It's pretty cool. I don't... I still can... I have a very, like... And maybe that was his goal. I have a very vivid memory of the guy we saw jerking off near the ramen restaurant. Yeah. Well, like, he had built know, a but- little tent for himself and had his cell phone out and also was like... <laughs> When I we think, saw him. I feel like he really enjoyed that. Yeah, we saw him and then he cackled like a lunatic and probably came immediately after. But by that time we were eating ramen, so. Yeah. Or at least ordering and trying to pretend like we didn't just see that guy jerking off. <laughs> uh, well, with that hot talk out of the way. Mm. Uh, um, thanks so much to everyone that's, um, you know, helped grow this podcast and uh our weekly listeners it's it's just so nice to know that um i'm not the only person that laughs about this shit Uh, (laughs) not at all (laughs) yeah right so thank you guys so much uh for um taking the time to um you know uh like our posts on instagram and stuff like that and um and listen each week so with that being said make sure you follow us on instagram uh at at that sexy podcast that's sexy podcast and also on tiktok as well same handle at that sexy podcast uh you can follow us on twitter at that sexy cast and facebook that's sexy podcast and with one s between the that's and sexy uh, so make sure, share our socials, you know, share our, uh, our, uh, you know, stuff on Instagram, share it on Facebook, uh, share it with your friends, maybe your enemies, maybe your mother. Um, Definitely your mother. Yeah. My mother anyway. Yeah. Make them very proud. You can also <laughs> email us your stories uh, if you happen to, you know go in public places and jerk off and your old lady tries to steer people into the stall. You've got your dick out in. Yeah. Uh, That's pretty cool. Um, Mm. Or anything of the sort. Maybe you have a story to submit. Maybe you're really into some sort of uh, fan fiction of some sort and you would like to submit your stories about fucking nymphs and stuff. Yeah. Some Lord of the Rings shit. Um, Gollum beats off. You know, um, <laughs> I feel like that's what every dude who does jerk off looks like in some way. Is just oh. going, like ah. <laughs> it's very real. Yeah. Um. Uh, boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you uh, listen to us on Apple Podcasts, please rate and review. Uh, if you are listening on Spotify, of course, follow and uh, like Mercedes said, uh, sharing. Sharing is caring or coming, whatever you want to call it. Uh, That's the best way you can help support the podcast is just to show other deviants the type of stuff that you put in your ear holes. Uh, And (laughs) as usual, uh, sorry about all the juggling of the titles there if you're watching. And um, yeah, don't jerk off to the podcast. No, don't do it. But if you do, make sure you empty, empty your live streams into whatever it is you come on. All right. Until next week. Okay. Bye. Bye.